Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip have been at the head of the royal family for quite some time now. So much so that Queen Elizabeth II has gained the title of the longest reigning British monarch ever. Despite having more than served her time, the Queen seems to have no intentions of stopping her royal duties anytime soon. Prince Philip decided he had served his country long enough at the ripe old age of 96. That was back in 2017 after he racked up a whopping 22,219 solo engagements and over 5,496 speeches. No wonder why he was ready to call it quits. Despite losing her royal consort, Queen Elizabeth II still continues to sit in her throne steadfast, but why? How long has Queen Elizabeth II been on the throne? Being the longest reigning British monarch is nothing to sneeze at. But how long exactly has Queen Elizabeth II been wearing the crown? Queen Elizabeth was born Elizabeth Alexandra Mary in London on April 21, 1926. No one could imagine just how quickly this young princess would end up swapping in her title for Queen. In 1936, just 10 years after her birth, a scandal happened. Long story short, her uncle, Prince Edward VIII gave up his spot in line to the throne to marry an American woman. Wallace Simpson. With the next in line gone, the king filled that spot with his young daughter. Then, in 1952, the king passed away, and Princess Elizabeth officially became queen. Not just to the United Kingdom, but she was also the queen regent to Canada, New Zealand, South Africa, Pakistan, and Ceylon aka Sri Lanka. At the time she was just 25 years old. Does Prince Philip's retirement impact Queen Elizabeth II? Prince Philip and little Princess Elizabeth crossed paths when the Queen-to-be was just eight years old. Not surprising because they essentially ran in the same circles. After passing some letters back and forth when they were older, Prince Philip finally asked for her hand in marriage. That was in 1946 when she was 20 years old. Word on the grapevine is that her father wasn't too thrilled about the choice but allowed the union so long as they waited until she was 21 years old. On November 20, 1947, they got married. That means when Prince Philip retired, he had already served 70 years. This allowed the Duke of Edinburgh to trade in his public lifestyle for a much more private one. He didn't even attend this year's Troop in the Colour a move that clearly left his wife of 70 years visibly lonely. Without her long-standing consort ruling by her side and attending events for her, there's undoubtedly a hole in her heart that can't be filled. Even so, the Queen sticks to her duties like glue. Why does Queen Elizabeth II refuse to stop working? So what exactly is keeping Queen Elizabeth II going? She already has a competent heir, Prince Charles, ready to take over the throne. At 70 years old, her eldest has waited his entire life to rule. But that hasn't encouraged the Queen to step down, not in the slightest bit. While some may find her clinging to the throne to be cruel to her fierce-born, there is a very honorable method to her madness. Her Majesty doesn't consider the work that she does for her country just a job. Nor does she look at it at being sworn into an office, like an American president might. Instead, she sees her reign as more of an incarnation. When the young queen first took her oath at the Westminster Abbey, she told all those watching that she would continue to rule over the country for, all the days of my life. Some may have considered her words a joke, but it's clear now that she was beyond serious. Tina Brown, the author of the Diana Chronicles, said, she will not step down because she does not believe this is about an office, she thinks it's about an incarnation. She's not running for office. The Queen will die in her bed as the Queen. You read that right, Queen Elizabeth II, whether she's ruling alone or not, will bear the burden of her duties until her final moments.